and uh, we will be starting uh, by picking up our first question and that question is as you can see on the board question number 291 and we start from a picture based question where the question that has been asked is identify the type of injury which is shown in the photograph. Okay. So, let us see what do we see in the photograph, we see there are some uh, abrasions which are present on the limb in a linear pattern, okay. can we see a lot of lines of abrasions there and these are examples of grazed abrasions. Okay. So, correct answer of question number 291 is grazed abrasion and let us see what are the important things that we need to remember about grazed abrasion. They are product of tangential friction tangential friction on the body by a rough surface and these tangential frictions are very very common in cases of road traffic accident. So, grazed abrasion are very important injury in cases of road traffic accident. In fact, they are the most common seen injury in road traffic accident. Okay. And in road traffic accident, if we recall that road traffic accident, the pattern of injuries that develop in the victim of a road traffic accident, we call them as primary impact injury when the car primarily hits the pedestrian, then secondary impact injury when because of the hit of the car, the pedestrian uh, is dislodged from the ground and he falls on the car itself. And then later on as the car passes off, the victim again falls back onto the ground, that is when he uh, has tertiary impact injury also known as secondary injuries on his body. Grazed abrasions most commonly in road traffic accident develop at this point of time that is at the point of tertiary impact injuries. Okay. So, these are some important points that we should remember about grazed abrasion as they have been asked in relationship to grazed abrasion in different questionnaires.